Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. Um, this one's gonna be a different type of vlog. It's not going to be like a travel vlog, but it's gonna be more of like me showing physical examples for you guys on how to do this. So yeah, um, this might not go under vlogs per se. It might go under like mental health or something playlists you'll see you'll see I might put it under vlogs but I don't know we shall see but today we're captivating our main character energy I haven't done this well I've made it a daily practice over the last little bit to try to captivate this main character energy thing so yeah the first things first that we're gonna do though is I just finished filming like this giant TikTok of me completing tasks. I just had a lot of shit that I had to do. I just came home from my trip to, uh, yesterday from New Hampshire. If you guys didn't check out that mini vlog, very mini, uh, go check that out in the last um, video. I think it's before the Be Kind to Yourself workbook series video. You know the deal. Um, the one on Tuesday that's going up. That already went up, I should say. But the first things first that we're gonna do to feel more in our main character energy is we're going to fix our outfit here because I was just wearing a t-shirt, putting my hair up, you know, that whole thing. I also need some water. I feel like my my GERD is acting up, so I just need to drink some water. Um, and yeah, so let me fix my appearance here for a second and we will get into the rest of the vlog. And much better. Wear things that make you feel confident and happy. For me, it's definitely wearing one of my crystal necklaces. I actually got this from Timu. Um, I don't really recommend that considering it's not possibly a real raw crystal, but it's still pretty. You know, it has the little sun on it. Um, I love wearing my little arm candy beaded bracelets. I love having my hair down, except when I'm like doing cleaning stuff, I like to have it up just so it's out of the way. But now that I'm done doing that, I already did all that, um, then I just put my hair down in my little bandana and shorts and a t-shirt. And I still have my slippers on though, just because we still gotta look comfy, you know? We still gotta stay with that comfiness of everything. Um, but the next thing that we're gonna do to cultivate that main character energy is go to your mirror. Now, this is something I haven't done in a hot minute, mainly because I've been traveling a, lot, traveling a lot recently, but now that I'm home for a bit, um, I want to start doing this every single day. And so I'll go over here on my magnet board and I'll pick out a color. I typically go with black just because it's just easier to see on the mirror. Um, and what I'll do is I'll write out an affirmation to kind of say out loud to myself or in my head for the purpose of this vlog, I'm going to say it out loud. But basically I'm just going to write it on here. Um, I also like to say the one that's in here and I will read that. But if I go to my um, little reading I did earlier, I did a little uh, tarot oracle reading here on my altar. Um, it seems like that I need to express my individuality was the big kind of creatively express my individuality. I cr I creatively express my individuality. That sounds like a good one. So I would just write that. I creatively, creatively, trying to spell, sorry, um, express myself in happy and healthy ways. Mm -hmm. And then once that's written down, I have it, it's kind of hard to see with the mirror there, I mean with the window there, but um, it's on there. And then I just put this back on my little magnet board over here, and I just read them out loud for you guys, typically in my head, but this is what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to read my overall one and the one that I'm focusing on this week. I am changing the world actively every day to heal and inspire others. I creatively express myself in happy and healthy ways. And then you just kind of look at yourself, smile, kind of just like think of the positive things. Don't look at, you know, 
the you know problem areas for me it's definitely my insecurity of my stomach um so i try to tell myself that this is just me and how my body looks and i should appreciate it because there are some people like my boyfriend that like it so um you know i also have to express some self-love for myself um, and I just really like how I look today. I don't know. I love how I was able to get this pimple down. I used like a pimple patch. It's not as bad anymore. Um, but I do have this little guy coming in. That's a freckle, by the way. But I have this little guy coming in. But other than that, I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling nice. And I'm like smiling in the mirror. Da da da. But now we're going to do a really important part of the main character energy. Thing. so let's go downstairs to the kitchen so now that we're in my kitchen sorry if you hear that it's just my water filtering I have a little water filtering system if you guys didn't know with my um, something that the doctors told me but maybe they just said it just in case but I literally have filtered water nine times out of ten whenever I drink something sometimes if it's the weekend I'll have a bit of alcohol um, you know I'm in my 20s, let me live. Uh, but, you know, or I might have like, I have a half of an iced tea, but I'm going to treat myself to that for um, lunch. But because I've been feeling like this little thing in my throat that's like kind of GERD-ish, it's not heartburn and it's not, you know, acid reflux, but it's like I could feel it. So whenever I feel that, I typically drink like a whole thing of water and that helps a lot. Um, but for main character energy things, drinking water helps a whole freaking much. Like I didn't really know the benefits of water and I feel like some of us know this, some of us don't. Um, I've been drinking a lot of iced tea lately and alcohol lately and stuff uh, just because I've been traveling and just like you know yes there I do did have like water obviously but for the most part it wasn't balanced and I think that's why I started to have a flare-up on my skin because one of the benefits of water is cleared skin and um, having that main character energy of just like having your shit together having your skin looking glowy having your you know mindset in a positive mood all of this really connects to drinking water because if we don't drink water what else do, is there to drink alcohol juice milk uh iced tea coffee Things that tend to give us a headache sometimes or low energy after a while. Water, though, helps you keep your energy momentum going at a steadier pace is what I found uh, drinking water all the freaking time. I usually have it in a big thing like this, too. I'm going to sip some of this because I was just going to fill up a little bit more, but there is quite a bit in there. And uh, my family also has an ice machine, so that's very much helpful as well. So drinking water is a sense of you captivating that main character energy because of the fact that you are putting your body's needs first. And also it's just helpful. And I see that it's almost 12 o'clock, which means it's almost lunchtime for me. Um, I usually like to eat anywhere between 12.30 and 1.30. So I'm going to take this time to just have my little water break. I did a lot earlier. Um, but I will kind of talk about when I go into the living room to take a little break to sip my water and such. We'll talk about some of the things I did do today that did kind of captivate some main character energy. All right, now that I drink a ton of water, I still have some more, but drinking water is just so... It makes you feel so much better, and it's just the tiniest little habit for you to implement into your life if you are a soda drinker or a juice drinker or you know anything like that and if you go on tiktok or even youtube probably there are so many videos right now on how to make flavored water so if you're trying to implement drinking water on a more daily basis check those out because you can get little flavored water packets at dollar tree and you can get like a 24 pack of them or whatever so definitely check that out um I highly recommend that and it'll make you just feel like a whole lot better <clears throat> excuse me sorry i'm just very burpy right now <laughs> um but 
I need him to get that out anyways. And here is Mr. Ted. He's not really feeling that well today. He's kind of having a little bit of a stomach thing. I don't really know what's going on, but he's just been wanting to be by my side um, a lot today, which is fine. I think he also missed me because I was gone for a couple days. But anywho, back to our main character energy talk. Some of you might be like, but what the heck is main character energy anyways? Um, it's essentially just another way of saying you taking control of your life and not feeling like a background character in other people's lives. So what I mean by this is kind of creating your own movie of yourself, making yourself look like, you know, the best character in your story rather than it being other people, you know, controlling your story in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, for example, for the longest time when I was having you know, depression and anxiety and stuff, it was always kind of, you know, I always felt like the background character, the person that felt like she didn't belong type of a thing. And going through my mental health journey and everything, now fast forward to now, and, you know, knowing all the tools that I have, this main character energy concept really resonated with me. And basically, it's just, for me, to be like, I'm a bad bitch, I am confident in myself, I control my own life, I don't have to worry about anybody else in my life right now. I am just trying to captivate my energy to do the best that I can in my personal life, and my personal life journey, and whoever happens to be a part of that is a part of that. If they do not want to be a part of that, that's their loss. They lost a really good soul, aka me. I'm not trying, this isn't to be conceited or to try to, you know, make myself look like a better person at all. It's more or less for me to gain more confidence in myself because confidence has always been something that I've struggled with a lot throughout my life. And having this concept of the main character energy has really helped me to work on that. And I've definitely gotten a lot better. I definitely have some things to work on. Like sometimes I'm the type of person to use self-deprecating humor sometimes. And I've definitely cut back a lot from that. I used to be way, way worse. But if you ask any of my friends, my boyfriend, whoever, like they know. They know um, that I do that. So it's just a bad habit of mine that I am currently working on. But also just having a sense where, you know, you don't, you're your own best friend is also the kind of way to kind of look at it. It's like, no matter what happens in your life, just think of it as a lesson or a milestone in life, depending on the circumstance, and allowing yourself to just kind of have yourself work through it, not having you know, other people be involved in it or anything and just kind of, you know, it's also that kind of girl boss energy in a way or just boss energy, you know, just kind of feeling like you're the best person in the world kind of feeling, but not in like a, you know, like putting other people down type of way because that's not the way of, of it at all. The point of it is to kind of captivate it yourself so then you can then have the energy go into the people's life that surrounds you and basically um just kind of how do I explain this just to kind of feel more at ease that other people are able to make their own changes so then you could focus on yourself because I was always that person to worry about everybody else except for myself, aka the people pleaser mentality. I try not to be the people pleaser anymore. I just do what I got to do. And if somebody needs my help, they got to ask for it if they, you know, need it or whatever. But if it's something that, you know, that they can do themselves, I put them in their place kind of a thing of just like, you can do that yourself. Like, come on. Um, so yeah, anywho, so that's more of a mindset thing to have with it if you're kind of confused about the whole main character energy stuff. Um, so that's something to think about. But I'm going to continue drinking my water here. I'm going to eat some lunch here soon, get the mail outside, do all of my other stuff. 
And then um, after lunch, um, my plan is to go on a little hot girl walk with my dogs. And I will explain all of that, um, the meaning behind it, why I've been doing it, and how it connects to our main character energy talk today. Um, but when we get to there, we'll get to there. So let me go enjoy my lunch and yeah. So this is my hot girl walk outfit for today. Um, just some white sneakers, maroon leggings, my bad witch club uh, shirt and a matching maroon headband to go with my leggings. And hold on. And I leave out my clothes that I was wearing before out so then I can change back into them. Unless I get super sweaty, then I will just put everything into my hamper, shower, and put on fresh clothes. So we'll see. We'll see how I am when I get back. But basically, hucker walks. What are they? Why do I do them? Et cetera, et cetera. Hucker walk is more of a mindset going into your walk of the day. For me, I have two dogs, as you guys know, and gives me an excuse to have it be one, an exercise for the day, two, get my body moving, three, get my dog's bodies moving and active and it makes them happy going on walks and stuff. And lastly, it just makes me feel more confident, just like walking, listening to my music, feeling like a badass bitch, not caring about what everyone else is doing, and just feeling like I'm the main character going on her walk, you know, like those like walking montages in movies. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you guys how excited my dogs get. My dog Teddy might be a little bit different than usual just because he's not feeling 100% but he's still gonna go on the walk and uh yeah let me go tell them all right let's see if we can find them I see a Henry and I see a Ted Ted do you want to go for a walk oh here comes Henry <laughs> do you guys want to go for a walk let's go let's go for a walk like I said he's a bit uh not himself today so He's usually a lot more excited, but let's get you guys ready. All right, they're all ready to go, and now we're gonna go and I'll show you guys some B-roll. Sorry, my face is a little red, but that usually happens when I go for my walks and stuff, but my last little tip that I have for you guys in order to kind of cultivate this, you know, main character energy is music and what you consume on a daily basis. If you're consuming a lot of, you know, things that are not in alignment with your main character energy or the energy you're trying to evoke, like, don't watch it. Like, you know, obviously every once in a while watch those, you know, like drama things, but don't like get yourself caught up into it you know what I mean you know what I mean um the big tip that I have is basically have 80% of the time be content that you're consuming as high vibrational that girl energy main character energy content this could be books music shows you watch movies you watch anything like that um, obviously, if you want to watch a Disney movie, for instance, watch it. Mulan is like a great, you know, m all of them are main character energies because of, you know, the way that the story is told and everything. So uh, I'm going to list some resources for you all down in the description of some videos and such that I really resonate with that if you're liking this topic of main character energy, that girl type of energy definitely definitely go check those out but um yeah and definitely look on youtube look on spotify look on apple music wherever you get your music from just search main character energy and there's bound to be playlists on there like youtube definitely spotify definitely apple music might be a little bit trickier but i think you got this and probably my playlist will show up under main character energy if you look under playlist so 
you can try to find mine if I can I'll have it linked down below so you guys can have it because that's literally I listen to either my main character energy playlist while I go on my hot girl walk or my rave playlist which is like upbeat EDM that I like so yeah um so that is going to be it for today's vlog slash motivational video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want more videos like this of like kind of vlogish style but like me showing you like things that I do to actually do the thing that I'm talking about you know um, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!